The Folgefonna Glacier Ski Resort is located on the edge of the glacier of the same name. It lays high above the Hardangerfjord in western Norway. It is one of the very few summer ski resorts in Norway. The ski center is quite young, as the general manager Mikael Eversen tells us. Fona was opened in uh, 1989, was the first year. Uh, then we had three small lifts uh, running up the glacier here, like a rope lift. Uh, in 1994 we built this lift that you see today, uh, so it's been here since. Operating a ski resort on a glacier poses a lot of challenges. Folgefonna is the first high mountain from the sea, so a lot of snow falls on the glacier every winter. Uh, there's a lot of challenges, but we have, uh, like every year, we have to move all the masts uh, to, because the glacier is moving. It's not like a normal ski resort where you have the, uh, the bedrock uh, holding the mast and everything. So that's a big challenge uh, during uh, startup. But, uh, and then end of season is when you have to close due to the blue ice on the, on the glacier. Uh, this season we have uh, like tremendous amount of snow. We have when we opened we had about 16 meters of snow. So we, we had to dig out the, the A-frame standing on the ice here um, to to move them this season. Uh, but we still had to dig out and keep the uh, the snow away from the lift so we could get easy access underneath and be working on them during the winter. Yeah. Olgifonna Ski Resort has a very unusual skiing season. It is open when the others are closed. Uh, we normally open about around the uh, 15th of May uh, and sometimes we open in Easter, it depends when the Easter are. If it's late Easter then we open uh, earlier. For this season uh, we probably will stay open till uh, yeah, October, around there, uh, but normally we close at uh, 25th of August. Skiing in the summer is quite a bit different than doing it in the winter. The first thing is that it's much warmer. The day we filmed, it was around 18 degrees. The snow was quite bad then. If you only skied on powdery snow before, you will have to adjust. The snow is much heavier, harder and coarse. And then you also have to dress up very lightly for skiing. It is not uncommon to see people skiing in shorts or bikinis, but beware. It might be very painful and cold when you fall in this kind of attire. And don't forget sunscreen. The people come from everywhere to ski here. And many top ski athletes come here in the summer. Uh, it's a lot of people. It's uh, people from all over the world. Uh, it's uh, professional athletes to tourists that first time ski. Yeah, we have uh, a lot of good training slopes here. Uh, the Super G slope is probably one of the best in Europe that you can uh, go uh, for training uh, and then we also have uh, slalom and, and um, a giant slalom that you can train here. We also do uh, big uh, jumps for uh, professionals, uh, for X game medalists and X game um, uh, athletes that wants to train here. So right now we have uh, uh, both the Norwegian national team training here, uh, preparing for the season to come. They also opened something for non-skiers. Yeah, we just this season we opened a new welcome center that uh, will be a good uh, uh, contribute for uh, for people just wanting to come up and look at the glacier. We have a good restaurant there. Uh, we had some we have some souvenir shops that you can go into, and we also have some conference room that you can rent on the glacier. And what makes Folgefonna Glacier Ski so unique that one should come here? As you see, this is a beautiful glacier. It's located at uh, the base is located at 1,200 meters above uh, sea level, uh, and where we're standing now, we're about uh, 1,500 meters above sea level, and you can still see the fjord as you see behind me here. So that's pretty spectacular, and uh, you can be skiing in the summer. Uh, uh, you can be up in the snow here, and you can go down and enjoy the summer down by the fjord. So it's uh, pretty good. Yeah. To get to Folgefonna, use a small road from Jondal which is approximately 20 kilometers long. This is a toll road, which costs 100 Norwegian kroners, but that also covers the parking fee. During summer vacation, there is also a shuttle bus from Jondal. Accommodations can be found in Jondal or Nordheimsun, which is a ferry ride over the fjord. And don't try to come here in the winter, as Michael tells us. 
Uh, then we have our vacation. So we just wait for the snow to fall. And then when the first snow falls, then we go up here and start working and preparing for the next season.